The 6 and 3 Calgary Stampeders are shaking things up in Winnipeg tonight, starting Jake Mayer over Bo Levi Mitchell. Dave Dickinson said he liked what he saw from Mayer in the second half versus Toronto and feels he gives Calgary its best chance to win. Kind of to think it's time to, to see what he can do, and I'm just going to ride the hotter hand and, and, and see where Jake can take us. I thought he was able to handle the pressure and get some completions in some tough situations. Uh, wasn't clean type of looks, you know. Definitely, he got hit and was able to find a completion. What kept us on the field? I mean, it wasn't like he played his, like uh, outstanding. I thought he had some things he could do better, but um, I do think he's got something to him. He's got a, uh, he's very confident and uh, calm, and those are things he need. And plus, we play Winnipeg. He's done this. Uh, he played well against them, so that was uh, certainly part of what went into my decision. I'm very excited. Very excited. Um, I've worked a long time for opportunities like this, and uh, I don't think anything's really changed in terms of like preparation and how I interact with the team. Uh, I'm just excited. I mean, you get to play in uh, an immaculate stadium in front of a nice crowd and against one of the best teams in the league, if not the best team in the league right now. So that's a challenge that we all all embrace for it. This will be the first time since November 3rd, 2017, a healthy Mitchell isn't getting the start. Last season, Mayer went 1-2 and two in three starts when Mitchell was injured, throwing over 300 yards in each of those games and is looking forward to an opportunity to build on that. Experience, you can't, uh, you can't simulate it, right? Like, you know, you have to be able to go through it, go through the ups and downs, find what works for you, find what maybe didn't work for you. And so, yeah, I, I mean, I, I always feel confident because I know I have a good team around me. I know I have good coaching, so... Um, yeah, it's just about going out there and doing it now. There's not much more you can say. The return of Malik Henry and Kadeem Carey from injuries is welcome news for the offense. Henry missed two games with a quad injury while Carey hurt his hamstring in a game versus Winnipeg four weeks ago where he also scored twice and he's eager to pick up where he left off. So I definitely found a little something. I don't know if it was just against them, but I felt like the offensive line, I feel like I'm getting into a rhythm. I feel like things are just clicking. So I'm just excited to go out there and, you know, continue what has just been going on. Jake's going to be getting the start. Does that change anything for you? No, not really. Not really. I know they two play a little different when it comes down to the check downs on me, but, you know, I'm just going to be available when he needs me, block my butt off so he stays clean and, you know, just make the plays that are there for me, make it easy for 12. This will be the second game in six nights for the Stampeders while the Bombers are coming off a bye week. Prior to that, Winnipeg lost its first game of the season in overtime to Montreal. John Lemon celebrates his 34th birthday on Thursday and heads into week 12 ranked fourth in the CFL with six sacks and has a share of the league lead with three forced fumbles. Winnipeg has clinched the season series with Calgary for 2022 and will be trying for their first 3-0 sweep over Calgary since the 1987 season. Both the Bombers and Stamps are sitting on 399 home wins since the foundation of the West Division in 1936. Both had an opportunity to reach 400, but in Week 10, Calgary lost to BC at McMahon and Winnipeg fell to Montreal at IG Fields.